So I've become a hypocrite in my putting teaching. And I have to admit this. For so many years, I taught symmetrical putting. That, you know, the length of your backstroke and the length of your follow-through should match up. That the pace of your backstroke and the pace of your follow-through should match up. And, and that, that's kind of how I went about, you know, in, in very rudimentary terms, that's how I went, my, went about my putting instruction. And within the last five to seven years, I've changed my tune. And I changed my tune because, you know, I think all great teachers and coaches evolve. And I started really watching and studying and watching and studying what goes on on tour, both the men's tour, the ladies tour, you know, both here and in Europe. Um, and, and with some of the better players I was working with. And what became very clear to me is that most good putters that I see, with exception, there's always exceptions to every rule, folks, um, don't put symmetrically. They make a longer backstroke and a shorter follow through in a very accelerated manner, okay? You're trying to almost compress the putt, if you will, okay? Kind of like a hammer and a nail. If you had a hammer and a nail, and you had a nail here, you wouldn't take the hammer and swing it through the sheetrock. You'd take the hammer and tap the head of the nail, and the nail would be driven into the wall, okay? All the energy is going into the head of the nail, hammer and nail, okay? So when I look at really good putters, you know, it looks kind of hammer and nailish. Brent, Brent Stetiker is probably the, you know, most obvious example of that. But if you look at JT, you look at Ricky, who I think is a wonderful putter when he's on, uh, you look at Spieth, there's not a lot of free flow in the follow through. It's all the, all the energy is going into the back of the golf ball. So I'll come out sometimes in the morning and without even having a hole here, I'll practice trying to feel that, you know, kind of longer backstroke an abbreviated follow through, that longer backstroke, an abbreviated follow through. And that ball feels wonderful coming off the face. It feels really solid, accelerated. There's never really much decel in that motion. The ball tends to hold its line better. Um, it's something I've become very fond of and seen a lot of success with my students. Okay. And it's certainly, if you go study the people I just mentioned on our most famous teaching device, now YouTube, you'll, you'll see a lot of that. Go look at Snedeker. Go look at JT. Go look at how hammer and nailish they were, okay? I think you'll get the golf ball coming off the putter face a lot better.